Most men think about celebrities or stars. Women, they know they can never have Kiriwa with. The reason is to feel powerful. Women also fantasize about men they, they will never end up with. But they feel aroused by thinking about them, which enhances the pleasure in bed. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Why do people fantasize? Why do couples fantasize? Men fantasize and women do as well. This is something that people don't talk about often. Okay, one of the reasons why people fantasize is because when to promote sexual arousal. That is one of the reasons why people fantasize. Number two is an escape route for all satisfying sexual experiences. But today, I'm going to make this video brief. It's not going to be a very long video. Today, I just want to talk about uh, some of the things that you can do as a woman, uh, even as a man, to enhance your bedroom mathematics, to help you solve the equation and balance it and get the good results that you desire. Number one, don't keep things bottled up. You fantasize, right? You think about your past, Kirua, I know, I used to be, right? So, but now you're married and you keep everything bottled up. No, don't keep it bottled up. Talk to your partner. Let him know for G spot. Don't keep it to yourself. Let him know where to touch. Be open. Uh, some time ago, someone told a male, you know, these are males, these are guys. And he was like, his wife is always running from this Kiriwa thing. She doesn't really see it as you know anything. And the other guy was like, this is how you do it. This is how you, you will touch her. When you, when you do it like this, she will keep coming back. And the other male went to try that. And it worked. But this lady, for years, she has never experienced orgasm. For years. And she kept everything bottled up. She never told her husband that, oh, this is where you should touch. The man, he does not know. Some men are so innocent. Yeah, there are still a lot of men that they don't really know much. But you are, as the woman, maybe your wakan of the year, your wakan of tea, and you're not, finally you settle down for this man. And this man does not know jack girl talk to him he will learn don't keep it bottled up don't feel like oh maybe if you tell him he's gonna see you as a wild girl so no 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 no. this is your man this is your husband right tell him tell him what to touch tell him where to touch you know sometimes after uh you you're married to just one person for years year after year you keep seeing the same person. Sometimes it can become boring. Yes. The bedroom mathematics can become boring. And so it's possible that you guys are not solving the equations anymore. You know, you're not getting answers to the to, to the mathematics. You're not getting answers to the equation. You gotta talk. You gotta talk so that you can get answers. Number two, when you keep everything bottled up, it doesn't work. That is what I just talked about. Another thing, number two is, you know why people keep fantasizing? They can't seem to get over it because 
They don't have a chemistry with your partner. This might sound funny, but it's for real. Some people don't have any chemistry. They got married because the society said they should marry. They got married to this to their partner because they felt it was time to get married. And the, the man that came or the woman that came at that time, they just got married. There was really no chemistry. So when there's no chemi chemistry between a man and a woman, what do you do? You just got to work it out. Because right now, you guys are now warm. You're not married, right? You just have to try as much as you can to work it out. And you can't continue to live in the past. You can't start feeling like, I really don't like this person. But remember that you are not married to the person. So the best thing you can do is to work it out. To find ways to enhance. Because if there's no chemistry, uh, trust me, it's going to affect your bedroom mathematics. So the best way to um, uh, work around that is to find ways. You know, no, number one is communication. You guys will just have to find ways to enhance your bedroom mathematics because uh, if the bedroom mathematics is not satisfying, it becomes boring. Okay. The last one I'm going to talk about, why people keep fantasizing. Uh, if you check, if you check Google or you decide to make a research about sexual fantasy, um, scientists or doctors or therapists, they see it as something that enhances your, your, sexual, your sexual life. They don't see it as a sin. It's not seen as infidelity. It's not seen as that the father. It's not seen as if you are cheating, as long as you're not doing it real life. That is how it is seen. But maybe you are you fantasize and you feel guilty about it. So what I just said, these are the, some of the ways you can work on it and you know focus on your partner. And uh, lastly, what I'm going to discuss is when you keep living in the past. This is one of the reasons why people keep fantasizing. You keep living in the past because uh, your ex, uh, whoever you had all that with before uh, you got married, maybe to you, the person was really, really good. The person was good, right? And now you are with your partner. You feel your partner is not good. He doesn't know how to do this thing. He doesn't know where to touch. He doesn't know anything. You keep living in the past. No. This is your reality. <laughs> this is now your reality. So quit living in the past. Open up. Let your partner know your G-spot. Tell him everything. To enhance your sexual, your sexual, sexual satisfaction. It is key. It is very important in marriage. As you grow in marriage, you know, they said it's a marriage is a school. That you keep learning so it's very important for us to uh, um, explore right okay that is the word I'm looking for you talk you talk the communication is key and find ways to enhance your bedroom mathematics Okay, guys, I said, let me just quickly come here and share this with you. Thank you guys for watching. Kindly subscribe if you haven't. Stay safe and I love you. Bye.